All right, so paint the scene for me. Where are we right here? This is the war zone. When your outrider first wakes up from cryo sleep, it's yeah. right into this hell hole. And you know, basically the idea is that one of the aspects of the anomaly is that it kills all electronics more complicated than a light bulb. So humanity has been reduced to sort of um, pre-World War I technology. So that's, that's what this feels like. It's like trenches and tanks, but on an alien planet. <laughs> Um, the enemies you're fighting, these are the insurgents who mm. are your, your, the ECAs at war with. Yeah. Uh, of course, they don't call themselves that. They call <laughs> themselves the exiles. And, you know, understanding the whole tragic story behind this war is a big part of the, the mystery that you're solving. Right now, we're looking at the trickster. Mm -hmm. Am I correct in saying that? Yep, yeah, yeah the trickster. Yeah, so now we see the temporal slice, so first ability. Yeah. You see that you are slowing everyone and later killing them. Yeah. Right now, this is slow trap, so... That's really cool. You are, you are fast, but you can even slow but down yeah, the damage, yeah. which makes you even <laughs> faster. And that's, that's cool. In <laughs> the, bu the bullets going in slow motion inside that bubble, you're like totally Neo. Yeah, Not, yeah but Neo couldn't slow down the jeep, so if you explode <laughs> someone, his <laughs> body parts will fly right. <laughs> so motion. in slow motion. Right, yeah. right. I noticed that your health was low. How did you heal, though? You yeah. are receiving some part of the health through your assassination. It's that whole idea of doing damage is what br gives you your health back. Wow. Uh, and this right here is the Devastator, correct? Yes, that's your favorite class. Yes, so this the is my class guy. right here. This is who I'm going to play. Here we are healing when you are close to the enemies and we are killing them. So the more enemies around you, the better. And the skill we are seeing is the Earthquake. So basically it's like a better shotgun. Okay. So you can synergize it together and kill a lot of enemies in the close, close combat. Mm -hmm. Oh, the next skill we see right now is the basically armor. It's a golem oh, that's cool. changing into the almost indestructible guy, yeah. so you can even be more close and more tanky and more buffed. That's exactly what I need. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. I need to be more tanky. Oh, yeah. man, I like it. I like how his skin is like rock solid and yeah. everything, or yeah. his or her, depending on which way you decide to go in customization. This is one of the hub areas you were talking about earlier, if I'm not mistaken. Is this a uh, rift, rift Town? Rift Town, yes. Th it's a Rift Town. Yeah, this is one of the first large hubs in the game you come yeah. to. You know, basically like after the anomaly storms have destroyed the first city and the monsters have started coming and the insurgency has started rising, those who are loyal to the ECA have retreated into this rift for protection. This is like one of the first places on mm -hmm. Enoch where a kind of civilization has survived. Right. Survive. Trying to survive. Survive-ish. Survive yeah. Survive -ish. yeah. Survive -ish. <laughs> it, it, is, it is a harsh, broken world yeah. that you find in this place. Yeah. But it's also the first time in the game that you really get to slow down yeah. and start to kind of explore and start to kind of unravel some of the mysteries that are a key part of this game. Yeah, yeah. it feels desolate but hopeful at the very same time. So how does the loot system work? I'm noticing there's vendors. Can I buy and sell things with the vendors, like gear or whatever? Yes, How's overall you are finding a lot of stuff in the world. Yeah. You can scrap, you can destroy, so you can receive money for it. So we, our money is called scrap, basically. Oh, okay. And then yeah. if you have bad luck, let's say, in the world finding the cool loot, you can buy it through the vendors. Or maybe you are missing some item that you want. Or maybe there will be some uh, mod you want to purchase. You can do this through scrap. All right, all about that scrap, keep it in <laughs> your pocket. How do I move from one environment and get to the next? Right. So the story is carrying you forward and the right. journey is really important. And every time you kind of move, you open up a whole new area adjacent to your hub. And once you've captured an area, so to speak, you can fast travel in between them. Oh, is that what that flag thing yeah. is? Right yes, there? exactly. Ah, oh, got yeah. it, got it. Okay, that makes sense. Where are we here? So this is the first city that I mentioned earlier, okay. which is now totally in ruins. Yeah, this I was going to say city. I don't see a city. <laughs> <laughs> it was supposed to be. This was sort of like, like the place that the colonization started. Right. Um, that, that huge thing that we saw on the horizon, like dominating the skyline. So that's the engine of the arc ship that brought us here. Mm -hmm. And th the whole idea of the colonization plan was that that was going to be our nuclear energy source that would power the city. Right. But then the anomaly hit oh, and that anomaly. thing melted down and it irradiated half the city and you know those who could escaped into rift town and those who couldn't the exiles were trapped out here so this is this is now home base of the insurgents that you're moving into you're moving into their territory now 
And okay, I guess we're moving on here to the pyromancer. This is uh, a lot of fire. Yeah, <laughs> this is pyromancer. All is about the fire and ash. This place is filled with enemies. It's filled with really dangerous monsters. Yeah, what is that? <laughs> yeah, that thing. <laughs> Those <laughs> things are really fucked up, man. <laughs> you are not fighting only with humanoids here. I was going to say, there's game. more yes. than human enemies? <laughs> <laughs> Remember what we said at the beginning, that whatever anomaly touches, it changes. Yeah. So those are the creatures that mutated from ah, the peaceful the creatures. Now they are not, not that. Creatures. There is no cute creatures anymore <laughs> here. <laughs> <laughs> because you are powerful, you are almost godlike with your skills. Yeah. Right. But the threat is even more dangerous, so you have to fight with really, really nasty creatures in your journey. Oh man, All right, that's gonna be fun. That's gonna be fun. I'm, I'm not like into shooting creatures unless they're like really scary. Yeah, really, so really this bad. is this is right <laughs> up my alley right here. Uh. <laughs>